Good afternoon, another wild camp um, with a small walk involved. Me, and East, East Coast Adventures and Mark, the Posty, Posty one. one. Yeah. I'm not going to tell you where we are, we're in a, a secret location. But this might give it away. <laughs> Looks like a temple, it's actually a piece of art. I can't remember the name of the chap who built it. If you've been, if you've seen it before, you know where we are. A little glimpse of the sea in the distance there. There's some cranes in the distance there. I don't know if you can see them. Might be the owner, might be one of his friends, I don't know. Right, we found a spot, undisclosed location. It is as well. Because we're in the middle of nowhere, yeah, you can only find them these places if you actually sort of like go off the beaten tracks to find them. Look at the coverage we've got from that direction, because that fucking great holly thing. <laughs> but we've got a slanty tree that could kill us. Well, it's been there for hundreds of years, probably. We've got good coverage, we've got good coverage from that direction because it's we're in the dip. I think we've got good coverage, there's no paths in that direction. The, the only way there's places a path is like behind this coverage here and, that, and no one's going to see us from all this. Oh, Are you happy with the location? Very happy. Very good. What werewolf protection did you bring? got any. <laughs> <laughs> setting up camp, food camp. Mark's got a good selection of various snacks, snack food. He's going back to basics today using the tablets. Certainly, yeah. Just wants to see flames. There's a caveman. Just wants to see a na natural flame. We've got a train line quite nearby, lucky enough they don't run too too regularly. There's mine, pot noodle, king size pot noodle, beef and tomato, coffee and a pepperoni. Box of cherries and a few other sweet snacks. Here's Mark stuff, tiny little sleeping bag. Leave 200. It's really tiny, is it warm? Yeah, bloody hell. OEX Bivy. And what sort of sleeping mat do you use? Me, I've just got the... OEX one, isn't it? Yeah. It's a three-quarter. Three-quarter? Yeah. Oh. And I've also got my yellow oh, Traverse OEX one. Why do, you, well. why do you use two? Is the one not thick enough? Just to be on the safe side, so I'm comfortable. Oh. More than anything else. And what sort of pillow do you use? Just a... Uh, I've always used this. I've had this probably now for about 10 years. That's what I had. I had something similar to that. Yeah. But it packed. But I All what I use here, I use for normal camping when I'm with my wife. Yeah. No different. I find it a bit small, don't you? Head sort of like. Yeah, but I'm used to it now. I'm so used to what I, what I camp with now, there's no difference for me. Yeah.
just coming down to the camp get an overview of what you, what's going on we're in a bit of a dip so we're quite well hidden from all around about to sit down have some eat I've got a pot noodles and things ready, I think. Yep, now. Right, it's now quarter to eight. We've all we're fed and watered. We've got some alcohol on. What Mark's already cracked his alcohol open. Yeah. What you got today? I just got the Copperberg mixed fruit. Summer fruit. Four percent. You drink it all too quick though, because it's like drinking like a two, fruit juice. Two cans? And that's, yep. and that's it, yeah? No hip flask. No hip flask. No sherry. I've just got the one can, but I've got I've got a hip flask, but whether I drink it, I don't know. I'm not really, a, I'm not really an alcohol drinker, to be perfectly honest. No, I'll drink that for you. <laughs> <laughs> We've got the sun coming through the, the woods, the trees. That was a train going by. Touch wood, we haven't heard many. It only goes by sort of once every hour, but by the sounds of it. Haven't bothered about setting up the sleep stuff yet. No need. It goes up in minutes, anyways. Got the trail camera tonight. See if it picks anything up. Got it set up on a nearby tree. I suspect there's plenty of nature that lives in the woods, but whether we'll see any, I don't know. Haven't seen any deer, have we? No. Haven't seen any deer. <laughs> but they may run into us as they run. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if there's any. Wild boar. I don't know if there's any deer living here. Or wild boar. Oh, yeah, wild boar. You'd probably wake up with you chewing on your leg. <laughs> I just take my shorts off, put my trousers on. They're starting to. Yeah, starting to get a bit. Cooler. Obviously, forest um, settings you do feel the a lower temperature at nights in the night time because it does get a little bit damper. But it is in a good location. We have plenty of tree cover above us. <laughs> There's no rain forecast, so neither of us are using the tarp, are we? No, not tied no. to bring it, but. No need, you don't need it unless you get rain. There's no point setting it up just for the sake of it. Drinking me a Gothenburg mixed berry. We have a taste test. Oh, what a nice one. Uh, a branch broke, didn't it? It's a fat pigeon. <laughs> I think what we do, we let that set, and then after that's done, we get rid of it. It's too much smoke. Well, I'm trying to do much attention, do yeah. Done it though. Quick, film it before it goes out. Oh, that's me. Right, Sam. I keep you alive. <laughs> Would you better um, catch and gut the, di um, the re um, rabbit though to put on it? Yeah, I'm a bit nervous about that.
What's that? It's a dog, isn't it? Yeah, they make a high pitch. It's Leo. loud weather, isn't it? Yeah, well, it's, it's close. Very close. Yeah, I reckon that probably was a fox, haven't you? Must have been. I can't think of anything else that would make that noise. There isn't. We're all set up. <laughs> Can't see a fucking thing now because we've been blinded. All our night vision's completely gone. Uh, Biffy camping, no tent, no tarp, clear skies, so not necessary. I'm using the military Biffy bag, same sleep system as normal. Climate sleeping mat and a Andes 300 bag. Mark's using the OEX Bush Pro Biffy. Yep. And a OEX. Rome, not not Rome, Fathom, isn't it? Fathom 200. Yeah, that's it. And an OEX sleeping mat. Yeah, there's a three quarter self inflating and a traverse OEX. All, set, all set on top of a tarpaulin. Yep. Which would become a swimming pool if it rained. <laughs> Thanks for that. <laughs> we moved into like a final camp position now. The light's starting to really fade. Can't be long for it's pitch black in here. Exactly the cleanest. No trousers on Mark yet. You didn't bring any today. No, I thought it'd be quite warm enough tonight. Well, just you know what it's like at night. It's freaking gets cold, doesn't it? We're well, camping, aren't we? we? Want to go as light as possible. <laughs> so yeah, we might see you again late this late this evening. Huh? You're light or warm with sun. No, it's, it's early days. No, he comes with me. Might see you again later. But most like, probably tomorrow morning. Good morning. Early start. For our, our own choice because we've got woken up. <laughs> all night. On and off all right night from really loud fox barking. Apparently we've done a bit of research and it looks as though they might be vixen mating calls. But they were really, really loud. It sounded really, really close at times as well, didn't it? Yeah, they encircled us yeah. the whole night. It was really it was really loud. Uh, all packed away. Just got the cooking stuff out. I've got a coffee on the go. Porridge. Apple and cinnamon porridge. Got some cherries as well. Normally I have an orange but I forgot it. Mark's all packed up. He's using his hexamine stove to Boil some water for porridge. Honey porridge, and I'm having El Grey tea. Uh, oh, tea, posh tea. Yep. Fairly minimal video this time. It's quite a basic camp. We have enjoyed it. It's been a nice experience. The wind was calm all night. There weren't much wind noise at all, was there? No, none at all. But if it weren't for the foxes, it'd have been a calm, <laughs> calm and quiet night. It would have been. Well, that's the end of the camp. Leave no trace, that's the normal motto. Look, no trace that we were here, a bit of brushed away dirt, and that's about it. No trace whatsoever. Take your rubbish home with you. And if you see any rubbish at the camp, take it with you as well, even if it's not yours. But not poo bags. <laughs> not our poo bags, dog poo bags. Have you enjoyed it? Yes, it's been great. It's been a nice one. It's just that the fox barking being kept up all night wasn't very nice, but yeah, that's what we're here for. That's the whole point. Yeah, it's been a it's been a good camp. It's been a nice location. It's a shame about the fox bark, barking all night, <laughs> and it's really, really loud. I can't, I can't under, overstate how loud it was. Very loud. Yeah, exceptionally it's like loud. They were next to you. Yeah. Yeah, it's like loud, louder than like a dog bark, wasn't it? Because yeah. it's high pitched. It was very loud. Yeah. Shockingly loud. And being encircled by them was even really worse. Yeah, it made you feel like you've been stalked or something. Yeah. Obviously, foxes are not going to hurt you, but it's just the freaky sound that they're making. 
sound twigs like, falling from branches. It sounded like we was in the middle of the Amazon Amazon rainforest at one point. <coughs> we could lie and say we was. <laughs> yeah, I didn't. Yeah, wouldn't know we was in a forest in the middle of England. Not at all. Uh, yeah, sound like. I thought it sounded like chimpanzees at one point. Oh! <laughs> 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 On the edge of that thing, isn't it? Yeah, that's it. Yeah, it looks like somebody's had a fire. It looks like somebody's been camping here before. We've also seen some rubbish here and there, like old old beer cans and not beer, like drinks cans and things, isn't it? Yeah. Old bits of rubbish. So there's definitely people been here camping before, whether they're wild campers or, or just people. Coming out just, to just get for drunk. the fun of it, yeah. For the um, like the use, like having a party. I don't know. I suspect it's the latter because if they're proper wild cameras, they would take the rubbish home with them. Exactly. Leave no trace. But you just don't know. Some people just don't res respect the environment. And that's what you have to do. You have to inspect, respect the environment. Leave it for others to enjoy. We'll call this video done because the walk back to the camp is not really worth. Back to the car is not really worth um, mm. filming. So we call this video done, make it a short one. Short and sweet. Yep. You say goodbye. Goodbye, everybody. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs>